All right, guys, let's check out another Hamilton. This is the PVD coated black version. I just did the uh, regular, you know, titanium grade two titanium case one, but Mimo also sent over the black one. This is the, um, well, I don't know if I'm gonna read the number. I guess I can. The good old H70665533. Yeah, they gotta come up with something better. I guess they do name them too. I mean, that's the part number, there's the price. Um, this one's name, I guess, is technically the Hamilton Khaki Field Titanium Automatic. There you go. 100 meter water resist. You're looking at a 42 millimeter case, 51 and a half millimeter lug to lug. I know, I know that seems like it's a long uh, lug to lug, you know, but these are field watches. Field watches typically do have a little bit longer lug to lug. It's just the way it works. Um, about 11 and three quarter millimeter thick, including the double dome sapphire crystal. And you have a 20 millimeter lug width here. This one comes on a very nicely matched leather, calf leather strap. Kind of ties in with the, I guess we're going to call it faux patina, but it's like brown. I don't even know if you can call it faux patina. It's just brown um, with, you know, matching titanium black hardware. You got the H logo here for the uh, tang and buckle here. Uh, one Sonin and one floating keeper. Using the H10 Automatic movement, 80 hour power reserve, non-decorated other than the rotor. Pretty stealthy watch, really. It's a very flat black PVD coating and it's grade two titanium. Push-pull signed crown. And then um, I think other than that, I mean, it's quintessential uh, Hamilton khaki field automatic type watch. It's nice and light. I'll put the, uh, you know, I didn't get the weight. I'll put the weight down in the description. Um, I think I did that in my other video too, but this thing has a bunch of the elements that I really like in a watch. One, I like Hamilton. Two, I love me some titanium. I'm actually wearing my titanium G-Shock right now. And uh, I'm starting to gravitate a little bit towards the black watches, especially, you know, if it's on the little bit larger side like this one, the 52 by, or excuse me, 42 by 51 and a half, you know, when you pair that with a black case on a black dial, it's going to wear smaller on wrist, and I'll give you a wrist shot in a moment. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at the dial, and you'll see what I mean. You know, it's not... You know, the other thing is, is I'm willing to admit, I actually like faux patina. There it is, guys. There it is. In case you were wondering, I know there's so many people that are anti-faux patina. I actually kind of like it in certain circumstances. Um, it can definitely be done wrong or overdone. I don't think that's what's happening here. And like I said, I don't even know if you can really call this one faux patina. This is definitely like a tan or brown on the dial. This is not, in my opinion, when I look at it, it doesn't look like they're trying to simulate vintage. It looks like they're just giving us a colorway. You know, no different than any other watch. So I think... That is fine. I don't have any problem with that. The hands are also black framed. So it gets a little tricky to see like the little syringe part on the hands. But, uh, you know, the legibility of it is totally fine because they're using the same tone, which is actually a really good loom. I can't find any information on what loom they're actually using. But whatever Hamilton did, they upped their game with the loom because at the end of the video, I'll, I'll do a loom shot. And the loom is actually pretty dang good on this. Um, I can, I'm going to even cheat a little bit and give it a charge, but, um, looks like a green and a, like a little bit of bluish in there, but when I charge it with a UV light, but let's pop this guy on wrist. I'm not going to get too carried away because this is a brand new watch. And so I'm just going to kind of, kind of barely put it on wrist. I'm not going to like fully commit here, so. So there you can see it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. That longer lug to lug is definitely going to, you know, be pers be there. It's going to, it's 51 and a half millimeter. You can't get around that. Yeah, it's a black case watch um, and it's going to wear good and, and it's going to look a little bit smaller than, you know, traditionally would. But, it, you know, if you have like a, a six inch wrist or a six and a quarter, like you're, you're going to have a hard time pulling this off. There's no doubt about it. But Hamilton makes smaller watches. It would be kind of cool if they made like the next size down, like a, almost like a, a khaki king size in this grade two titanium. I, I hope they play with the titanium a little bit more. 
Uh, we'll see how successful these two models go, and then, you know, then maybe they'll give us the other ones. But nice winding action to it. Accuracy is like killer on this thing. Um, you know, it's plus minus like well within whatever you think you want. You know, it's probably going to be like five seconds or something. I did not throw it on the time grapher, but I have thrown many of the H series movements from the Hamilton on the time grapher, and they always do well. So let me um, turn these lights off so you guys can get a loom shot. And then I'm going to wrap this up. There you go. i got to kind of block that, that monster there. That thing glows like crazy bright. But you can see the loom is actually legit good. Um, you know, gone is the uh, the Hamilton disappointing loom of the past. Like, it seems like it was only like a year ago we were probably, uh, including myself, were kind of like disappointed to the point where we're like, come on, seriously, do something. Well... Maybe they listened or or whatever the case. Um, but when they have brown printed on dial in brown looking hands and they can do this kind of loom, then um, they did something right. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I know I didn't mention. Oh, yeah, I did in the beginning. Mimo sent this over. So big thanks to Mimo. Please support him. Um, you know, he's, 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 my, he's a friend of mine and he's an authorized dealer for Seiko, Hamilton, G-Shock, and some other brands uh, out there in Long Beach, California. So especially if you're West Coast, you're going to get super fast shipping, but he does super fast shipping everywhere. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description, as well as uh, the weight and whatever other information I can find to share with you guys. See you guys on the next bit. Thanks.